so this is Nico. Um, Nico is five years old. He's half lab, half golden. He was purchased by the New Hampshire ICAC Task Force as a tool, and then assigned to me in May of 2020, where uh, we've been partners the entire time since then. He can find any device that stores or transmits data. That's big. So if he can find it for them and they can search it and we can bring a guy to justice and help get justice for a child, that's the win. We want to find everything we can, get it to the hands of the digital forensics people and let them work their magic. So I am Deputy Matt Fleming. I'm a deputy with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office assigned as a task force officer here at the New Hampshire Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. There really are four types of internet crimes against children that we investigate. So possession, the distribution of it, the manufacturing of it, and also traveling cases or human trafficking type of cases. There's been a massive increase over 360% just in the last couple of years across the country with these types of cases. And New Hampshire, we are within that. My name is Eric Kinsman and I'm a Lieutenant with the Portsmouth Police Department and I'm the current commander for the New Hampshire Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Having the capability to investigate and do a deeper dive into that digital evidence is a crucial part of putting together a successful case. You know, Celebrite offers us that ability to do that uh, because the products that we have allow us to be able to take those pieces of evidence and really extrapolate important things that we can put together. So when we're talking about making sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure that this is a, a perfect case, it's because we want to help the victims, period. We definitely make community education a, a high priority for us. It's a way in which we can be proactive. We completely revamped our middle school and high school presentations. There's been times where after a presentation, students have come up to us saying, that happened to me. And they felt empowered to come to us, say that happened to me. And so we were in a better position to be able to provide them with the help and resources to get them back to where they, they needed to be again. And so it was definitely something that, that we stay committed to, will stay committed to, and continue to try to evolve and, and do better at. We got Nico in the summer of 2020. He's been involved in over 250 warrants since we've had him, and he's made an impact at every single one in some way, shape, or form. My love of this dog is pretty crazy. He's a game changer in ICAC. He's just become probably the greatest partner I've ever worked with because our days are tough. We see a lot of really hard things to accept. And I had done probably lifetime over 200 child predator interviews before I took Nico on. And I tell a lot of investigators that my cup was full and I wasn't done fighting yet, but I needed to figure another way out and I'm not a digital forensics guy. I think that in a lot of ways this dog saved my life. Uh, not just kids' lives, and I needed that, and uh, he doesn't even know it. And I think that's probably one of the best gems about him is that he is so special, so important, and has no idea how big of a deal he is. Celebrate. Justice accelerated.